So, hello everybody. Good morning. Welcome. Um, we're going to do some work on the knees and the hips and the lunge today. So, let's stand up. Um, what I'd like you to do is have your feet hip width apart and with your head upright, so looking forward, just slightly bend your knees and bring them back. Bend your knees, bring them back. So that's all we're doing, just moving our knees, gently warming up the space. And imagine that um, the warmth around your knees. Imagine your knees are warm. If someone maybe has hands either side of your knees or front and back, and they're warming the space. And then the next time you go down, just stay there and have a look. Are your knees tracking correctly? So are your knees over your feet and in line with your hips? We don't want them coming inwards and we don't want them going out to the side. We want them in a correct channel so your knees are tracking directly over your feet. Okay? So everything is lined up and we're not going to have um, issues with the knee. Okay, and the knee is obviously part of the leg and the leg we have a foot and a hip at either end. And so the function of the knee also depends on the mobility of the feet and that our hips are doing the correct thing. So let's come up to our hips. Put your weight down your right foot and just slightly lift your left foot off the floor. And let's see how much mobility we've got in the ball and socket joint of our left thigh. So we're rotating our thigh out and rotating it in. It's not just the foot doing that, it's the whole leg. So the whole thigh goes out, whole thigh comes in. So getting to know how much mobility we have in our left thigh, okay? I'm just doing that with my hand, so I hope you can see what my leg is doing. Okay, and then place that foot down. Let's put our weight down through the left foot and do the same thing with the right leg. So it's the right thigh moving out or twisting out and in, bringing mobility to the ball and socket joint of our right hip. And if you can see this wire, that's what I'm talking about my microphone. Please excuse that. Just trying out different things. Okay, good. So then we want to, because our um, knee is in the middle of our hip and our foot, we want to do the same thing but with our foot attached to the ground. So that gives us a bit of traction. So this time we're going to move our left hip out and in, but keeping our left foot on the floor. Okay, so this will just show us how much mobility we've got in our foot. Does our foot come all the way off the floor onto the outer edge as we rotate our hip? Or can we have most of the foot still on the floor, maybe raising the arch a little bit as we twist out that hip? So how mobile are we in our feet? And this will obviously affect our knees and our hips. Okay, good. And then putting your weight down your left foot, and we'll do the same thing on the right. Opening out your right hip, but keeping the foot attached to the floor. So you're giving it a bit of traction, trying to move the different parts of ourselves independently. So that you might rock over onto the outer edge of your foot, that's okay. You might just have your inner arch lifting a little bit. Just notice whatever's going on for you. But we're aiming to move the hip out and have the foot on the floor. Okay, and then we're just going to do a quick top of the foot stretch. So um, taking one foot behind you, curling your toes under, and then shifting your weight back. And what you can do here is the same thing. So twisting the hip out and in, keeping your hips sorry, the thigh out and in. Keeping your hips facing forward, that thigh can turn out and in as we stretch the top of the foot. Good, and then the other side. So 
So we're stretching the top of the foot, our weight is coming back to help that back foot stretch. And also we're turning our thigh in and out, keeping our hips facing forward. Just waking up the mobility of the different parts down here. Okay, good, right. We're going to go into a lunge and I'm going to do it this way, coming into view on the camera. So when you're ready, standing in your vertical, fingertips reaching down and forward and then do your lunge. Let's just take our arms away for a moment and check that the lower half is all doing what it's supposed to be doing. So you want a knee over your toe in line. You don't want the knee collapsing inwards. You want your hips rotated outwards. So the thighs are open, knee over toe in that line, and your, sorry, I'll just move over a bit, and your back leg is straight, toe on the floor. You can even go a bit further if you shift your weight onto the ball of that front foot and pick up that back heel. Although that's a lot of work for your thigh, okay? Right, let's change to the other side. Fingertips reaching down. Fingertips reaching up and that draws you out into your lunge. Check that your thighs are outwardly rotated, so you're open in the thighs. Your knee isn't collapsed in. That's over your toe. Back foot, leg is open and rotated. If you want to have a bit more of a dynamic position, then it's that front heel off the floor slightly. Okay, let's just do a few more. One side than the other. Reaching, reaching, reaching with your fingers. Oh dear, I'm falling over today. I think it's because I'm looking down at the camera. Let me just look up properly. Reaching, 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 doing your lunge. And just keep going in the space that you have. Any which way, checking if your knee is over your toe, thighs are outwardly rotated, body is upright, head in line, Leg at the back of your neck, rib cage lifted. Oh, there's so many things to think about. And remember, we don't want to land heavy in our lunge. We want as if we're skimming a stone on the water, that lovely gliding feeling. Please come to the computer. So um, I want to put a quote in. This is by uh, William Hutchinson Murray. He was a Scottish mountaineer. I'm sure some of you will have seen it before. Oh, sorry. Whatever you can do or dream you can, begin it. Boldness has genius, power and magic in it. Begin it now. That's the short quote. There is a longer version and I do really like the whole thing. So I'm going to put the whole thing in and I'll read it out to you. Oh. Okay, so, until one is committed, there is hesitancy, the chance to draw back, always ineffectiveness. Concerning all acts of initiative and creation, there is one element, elementary truth, the ignorance of which kills countless ideas and splendid plans. That the moment one definitely commits oneself, then providence moves too. All sorts of things occur to help one that would never otherwise have occurred. 
a whole stream of events issues from the decision, raising in one's favour all manner of unforeseen incidents, meetings and material assistance, which no man could have dreamed would come his way. Whatever you can do or dream you can, begin it. Boldness has genius, power and magic in it. Begin it now. And I can see Kevin dancing away there. So this is um, just a lovely quote and it was always in our gym office on, um, on the wall. And we're going to use that into our lunge and our movement towards the goal. So what you can think of at the moment is perhaps a goal that you're working towards or a dream or an intention that you have. And you can hold this in our thoughts as we go. Okay, let's stand up again. So we're going to um, just take a little um, side step and then come back in. So what I'd like you to do now is um, take your gaze away from the computer and lift your hands in front of you, wiggle your fingertips and open your hands out while still looking at your fingertips. So you're going into what's called wide angle vision. You're seeing everything in the periphery and the whole sphere of your vision. And you can kind of move your hands up to the top, keep wiggling your fingers, bring your arms down beneath you or to the bottom of you. See if you can still have that, your fingertips wiggling around in your periphery vision. Okay, good. So you've got that wide angle vision going on, that soft focus, taking in everything around you. And now let's go to our ears. I'd like you to hear the sounds around you, including my voice. So are there any sounds above you? Are there any sounds to the right of you? Sounds to the left of you? And are there any sounds beneath you? What can you hear behind you? And what can you hear in front of you? So our vision, we can soften our vision and open it to expand wider. We can expand our hearing out. And now let's expand our, um, the senses we have with our fingertips, sensing the space, the palms. So reaching your right fingertips down, brushing your fingers along the floor, reaching away from you, going all the way up and really sensing with your fingertips, what is the space telling you? Sensing with your palm, what is happening out there? And then taking your arm out to the right, same thing, sensing, reaching, discovering, being interested in the space around you. Good, left hand, fingers reaching down, reaching forward, discovering what's there. Sensing the space with the fingers, the palm, the limbs. Coming down, brushing your fingertips along. I was gonna say the walls, but some of you might be outside. Brushing your fingertips to infinity, sensing what's there. Okay, good. And then we're going to put those two things into our movement. And um, well, let's do a lunge first. So we're going to reach our fingertips down. Sense the space around us. Be lifted by something underneath. And it's the 
space in front that pulls you and invites you forward into your lunge. And let's continue with our lunges, any which way, wherever you have space, reaching your fingertips down, sensing that space beneath you and around you. When's the time to act and move? And of course, although you decide when to move, you've already set your intention to move because you've already had the inspiration to do it. It's already come in. So it's already moving. So you're, you've already decided to take your surfboard out on the ocean and then you're just waiting for the right wave to come. When is that right, right moment to move? Reaching, sensing. Use all our senses. We've got so many senses, of course. But let's see with our eyes, hear with our ears, sense with our fingertips and our whole body the space around us. And ride on the waves of providence. Be taken in that stream of energy. You have an intention, you have a goal, you can think about that intention or that aim and then reach towards it and allow yourself to be taken there. Okay, let's move into movement towards the goal if you have space. So, same thing, soft vision. Hearing expanded, fingertips reaching down, reaching forward, sensing the space, be pulled forward. And then it, you turn, and it's like turning the door of um, possibility. And all these possibilities come rushing towards you. Swing down, grab hold of that one thing that's gonna help you today to move forward. And then finish. I've got a limited space here, so please excuse me. I'm actually going to move the camera slightly. Okay. So, wide angle vision, wide angle hearing, sensing the space, fingertips reaching, 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 being pulled forward, turning your palm, turn, turn, turn. And then possibilities just come flooding towards you and you jump and take that step. Swing down, gather up what you want, what's important. Let go of some of the other things that might have come your way that are not important and close. Obviously, if you've got space, please just keep going and going and going. I just have to keep stopping and going again. Okay. Reaching, 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 reaching. Being drawn by that space, choosing the right moment, swing down and up. Reaching down, reaching forward, sensing the space around you. Feel light in your movements. When you're in your lunge, just check a couple of times, are you really still open in your hips, in your thighs, I mean, sorry. Have you really got that knee over your foot or are you collapsing inwards? Let's be kind to our knees. Let's get that thigh open. Okay. Keep it going. Feel that space, possibilities rushing in, grabbing hold, swinging, letting go of anything you don't need. Feel the energy moving you, feel the space moving you. Feel yourself drawn forward. Swing, turn on, swing.
Okay, isn't it true that when you get into a role in life, then things have to one after the other, and you can just keep going and going and going. Keep going and going and going. Possibilities and possibilities and possibilities present themselves. Couple more times. Swing and close. Good. Okay. So um, thinking about your goal, your intention, what you're aiming to manifest. And we'll close with the opening exercise. Standing in your vertical, shoulders dropping down your back, rib cage lifted, pelvis level, being grounded by your feet, reaching down, And with your goals and your actions and your intentions, then what obviously we can do is bring the idea to the thing that doesn't yet exist into reality. So it's like reaching up for that inspiration, that idea, and bringing it down to earth. Let's do one more. Reaching out and sensing. Reaching out and listening. Reaching all the way up for inspiration to come in. And you bring that down down to earth. Okay, good. So, happy um, goal setting everybody, happy project working, whatever you're doing. I'm going to switch over to my other computer now so I can hear everyone. Uh, but thank you, thank you for being here.